deteriorating situation in Sudan is of great concern to our region and continent. In the last five days, fighting has led to the loss of hundreds of lives, massive destruction of property, and displacement of civilians. Kenya is deeply alarmed that a misunderstanding over a single outstanding item in the political framework agreement, namely the time frame for the integration of the rapid support forces into the Sudan armed forces, has degenerated into violent conflict. As a result, the parties to the framework agreement have been engaged in military confrontation. The indiscriminate deployment of lethal power and air power by both RSF and SAF has targeted military and non-military targets, causing devastating damage to property as well as strategic public infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and airports. We are also deeply concerned that members of the diplomatic community have been targeted and civilians in general have been caught in the crossfire, a pattern of systematic violation of established norms and principles of international humanitarian law is clearly emerging and this situation is evolving into a threat to regional and international peace and security. Kenya implores the leadership of the two parties to ensure full compliance with the resolution of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development Heads of State Summit held last Sunday. This includes an immediate cessation of hostilities, allowing unrestricted humanitarian access, and extending full cooperation to the IGAD Heads of State mission when it visits Khartoum. The outcome of these engagements and evidence of cooperation from the two parties will be crucial to the resumption and conclusion of the negotiations on the political framework agreement. In urging this course of action, Kenya notes that disregard for the resolutions, coupled with the evidence of lack of commitment to ending the conflict, strongly indicates that attacks on diplomatic installations and personnel, as well as targeting of hospitals, hotels, and other vital public and social spaces are deliberate, systematic, and tantamount to atrocities against humanity. There is real danger that the escalation of hostilities in Sudan could implicate external, regional, and international actors and degenerate into a security and humanitarian crisis on a disastrous scale. It is therefore critical for an international coalition of all the actors that have been involved in supporting the restoration of civilian rule in Sudan to act with urgency. The United Nations, Africa Union, IGAD, and all the other stakeholders for the Sudan must lead a process that extends beyond mere cessation of hostilities towards the restoration of sustainable peace, security, and stability. It is time to silence the guns in our region and continent so that we can focus on the urgent work of enabling our people to pursue opportunities and actualize their aspirations in peace and tranquility. Kenya's root of concern the Sudan crisis may deepen a threatening region. Kenya's president denounced Wednesday of a systematic pattern of atrocities. Kenya notes that this regard for the resolutions coped with the evidence of lack of commitment to ending the conflict strongly indicates that attacks on diplomatic installations and personnel as well as targeting of hospitals, hotels and other vital public and social spaces are deliberate, systematic and tantamount to atrocities against humanity. The Army and the Rapid Support Forces said they would commit to a 24-hour ceasefire on Wednesday, April 19th, 
However, fighting continued in Khartoum. President William Ruto urged to silence the guns in the region and on the continent. There is real danger that the escalation of hostilities in Sudan could implicate external regional and international actors and, de and degenerate into a security and humanitarian crisis on a disastrous scale. It is time to silence the guns in our region and continent so that we can focus on our urgent work of enabling our people to pursue opportunities and actualize their aspirations in peace and tranquility. Time is of the essence. The UN chief is set to meet Thursday with the heads of the African Union, the Arab League and Regional Bloc, the Intro-Governmental Authority on Development in Efforts for Peace. Thank you so much for watching.